This summer, these cyclists, along with 40 of their Wheelin' Warriors of the North teammates, will be riding from Vancouver to Seattle in the Ride to Conquer Cancer, in benefit for the BC Cancer Foundation. It is spectacular. We start off in the Cloverdale um, Fairgrounds with about 2,000 plus, almost 2,500 other riders. We all leave at the same time, so that is just, it's an unreal feeling. And then we start to spread out as we get closer, we head over the border. And then from there on, it's through really wonderful scenery, beautiful mountains, ocean, it's spectacular. All right, so I want everyone to match both of the Karen's intensity here. Usually I'm heading to Seattle with friends for a Seahawks football game or some outlet shopping. This time it will be at 49 other Wheelin' Warriors. And we are gonna be biking all the way from Vancouver to Seattle with a substantial amount of training under our belt as well. The Ride to Conquer Cancer features a ton of cyclists, but not a lot of representation from this area of the province, which is why the North is so proudly displayed in the team's name. The Wheel and Warriors of the North was, uh, I, I chose that name with uh, that in mind. In 2013, we were actually the first team that came out of the North the size of the team that we were, and so it was really great to represent um, Northern BC, and since then the team has really grown in numbers, and we're actually double this year. Our team captain, Karen, has really elevated the representation from the North for this event. It's a lot easier for these gentlemen and these ladies in the Lower Mainland, or even Washington State, they actually have the competitive advantage where they can train year-round on their bikes, where we have significant long winters in Prince George and they can be punishing at times. A lot of our training is done indoors so being able to get out on the bike in the springtime it makes us train that much harder and makes us appreciate those favorable conditions even more when we're out there together. Being a Wheelin' Warrior is not an easy task. Not only is every team member raising pledges, they also have that giant two-day, two cities, two country bike trip to prepare for. We start our indoor training in January. Uh, we train Mondays and Wednesdays. From there we go out into uh, outdoors. And we have, right now we have one uh, outdoor ride and then it'll just pick up to even more. And we'll progressively lengthen those rides and add more rides as we get closer to the event. All of this wouldn't be possible without the hard work and dedication from team leader Karen Pichet. Absolutely, there's a tremendous amount of hard work involved in the team and, and not just the fundraising dollars but the training as well and it's Karen's leadership that has really brought everyone together with this shared goal, this shared joint vision that we're all behind and it all starts with that one wheel and warrior that signed up three years ago which was Karen our team captain to 25 last year to 50 wheel and warriors this year. We've grown by 100% just in one year from 2014 to 2015. You can help support the team by visiting www.facebook.com slash Wheelin' Warriors of the North. And now that the weather's nice, keep an eye out for the team in their white and black jerseys on the streets of Prince George as they continue to practice before the Ride to Conquer Cancer kicks off on August 29th. I'm very excited about getting outdoors right now, out of the indoor cycling aspect of it and hitting the road and bonding with the team really because a lot of us have been training indoors in many facilities or different time slots so getting the group together. Actually the other day we went out with 11 of us and I realized how impressive that was just to see 11 cyclists so I can't even imagine what it's going to be like to see 50 of us out there. For Go Prince George, I'm Kevin Neal.